Yeah, boy. Try it, try it, try it. I'm here with... My name is Jeff. And, uh... <laughs> I'll open register. It. Yeah, now we got... Works. We got fucking, uh... My name is Jeff. And, uh, <laughs> you know, yours truly over here. Yeah, there you go. We're, uh, may, we're trying to... May we're, move that window so you can, you can see your... Yeah, we're, we're trying new software and shit, you know. Yeah. It's all, it's all different. It's all good. Um... Yeah, man, let's let's get get the fuck into it, man. Sure, let's get into it I right wish, away. I wish I had like a copy that's so I could also just like random times. Oh, uh, dude, just, you like, can't, man. That's that's the benefits of fucking being, uh, in you that, know, in that chair. Yeah, it's Senior Agbashlu. That's what yeah, it is. Fair enough. Fair enough. Um, what do you want to get into first, we man? You want to get to let, that? Let, let's hit our. Let's hit our. What we use. Let's get back to. to let's get back to fucking basics. Yeah, let's okay. Get, let's get back to what we used to do. We used yeah, to, yeah. We used to do sports highlights. And that's we used right. To do current events. Let, let's do that again. Let's so do that what again. What do we got for sports this we week? We got fucking Darren we'll Till losing for the fifth back. time. Look at this Harder shit. Not good. Yeah. You may also want him. Yeah. There you go. Oh my god. So this is D- Darren Brunson Till and versus Brunson. Brunson. Yeah, yeah. This is not looking good for fucking Till right now. We're looking at some highlights. He gets taken down one leg. Yeah, it's he three minutes into the. Fucking first Till did round. not do well from what I saw. So is he is he a part prodigy that we think he is or no? Was he ever a prodigy? I mean, there's a lot of people who are like, oh, he's the next Conor McGregor. He's I, just getting smashed first round by I, fucking I think Brunson. People needed a white, a strong white fighter. Yeah, a strong a, a strong white male figure, and that's not going to be the case. And he was also English, so that helped. They they wanted another. I think they wanted someone else from that part of the world to be strong. He's looking really fat. Like he doesn't look in shape. He doesn't look like a fighter shape. Well, he's never had like a like a shredded body. Yeah, yeah, but right? dude, this is like, this is not okay. He's always been kind of soft in that sense. He, but this is not like, bro. If you think about the best fighters in the world, yes, and you think you don't think of Darren Till. At no, all. no, no, no. I at don't all. right now. I don't. Yeah, and I, like, I used to before. He was like when he was top middleweight. I was like, yeah. And like Brunson's not that good. So if Brunson's destroying you, like, like, dude. I think I got lower body fat than Darren Till right now. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, and I, 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 I'm nobody. Actually, I actually haven't, see, haven't seen. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Like, look at that. That doesn't look fucking. That looks fat, bro. This guy has obliques. He's it's, like, you seen my fucking. It's his, it's his genetics, but not genetics. Yeah, but you seen my thighs, right? I've seen your thighs. I got. I that's got a very fucking, weird thing for you to say, but yes, I, I, I got. Have. I got striations on that shit. That's yeah. That's that's. This motherfucker doesn't have that's, shit, bro. Does he not? Bro, even, even when he's like in motion. Dude, cause that that would be tragic. Listen, I'm telling you right fucking now. The fact of Darren Till having fucking thighs, mm-hmm. striated thighs. Yeah. Oh hell no! Oh, ah! Hell to the fucking oh, wow. no, dude. Hell to the fucking no, man. There's no fucking way, man. Fuck all that. I guess. So let's watch the rest of this. Sure. Oh, so what do you think is next for Till? Uh, retirement? No, I'm kidding. We're not. We're Bellator. not. Bellator. We're not gonna do. Yeah, we're not gonna give out stupid takes like that. Uh, look, oh, Brunson. Oh. This is a very weird fight for me, because both of these guys are not that great. They're, they're both good. garbage. They're good, but they're not that great. Yeah. So why were they the main event? I know it's a fight night, and there's. I know uh, they need fighters to fill. Yeah, that that's exactly. But we're what talking it is. about like. Is this really the best the middleweight division they could have done? Uh, pretty because, much right, right now. Pretty much right now, yeah. Because what else do we have in the middleweight division? We have uh, Whitaker, who's oh, fucking AFK at this point. Uh, Whitaker is fucking MIA you know I mean? right like, now, bro. I, I don't know what's He's going on He's MIA there. right now. He's going back to fucking Australia. And your other contenders, there's not much. You got, I'm telling you. Because they're all, they're all out. Weidman's basically dead. He's gone. I don't think he's coming back ever. He's never coming back. And I mean, he was, he was already actually not doing that well, even before he got his Dude, Weidman was going head to head with Anderson. So let's understand how old this guy is. Bro, I was like, t- yeah. Yeah. So it's like, this is, these guys aren't real guys. And then um, who else was a uh, middleweight that I was like, what looking at? Uh, My fucking all, great all, aunt was all, a fucking middleweight. All, all dude. the, shut the fuck up. <laughs> all the guys that we looked at that were cool, they're basically like dying. Like they're, they're gone. <laughs> Jacques Array is gone. <laughs> Fucking! <laughs> they're basically dying. Yeah, <laughs> man, they're all retiring from Jesus the UFC, Christ, or they're going to another dude. promotion, right? Jesus fucking uh, Christ! Jacques Correa is one of them. You know what else is dying? Who? This fucking stream, bro. No, it's fine, bro. There you go. It's Fuck. all good. That actually looks pretty minty there. Dude, wow, it looks look super skin. fucking minty. Oh my that God. skin is fucking premium, dude. It, it really does look like you work indoors. Like if I had Amazing. to tell, 
How like th- yeah. that complexion has no blemishes, no nothing. There's no. It used to, man. I did not have the greatest skin growing up. Oh Especially no. Especially like like uh, like I had a fuck ton of acne. Oh yeah. Not like crazy, crazy. Like there's we've met some guys in high school who were like insane. Yeah. yeah. But like I yeah. Pimple like, face. Yeah, but I, I did not have a great complexion. Yeah. Let's not get into that though. Let's go into <laughs> <laughs> let's go into uh, this Taliban shit right now. Whoa, dude. hold so, on. Yeah, so current events. Like, what the fuck's going on? What do you got for me, man? Yeah, this is the fucking current events, what son. What the fuck we got? This current event is so current that literally the fucking news slapped me in the face like a bad smelling pussy can, right can, now. Can we take like a screenshot of your DMs with some of our fans and put it like right? I don't get that often sc- at all. Okay. Um, so. <laughs> So uh, I just want to go into this. I called this shit from a long time ago. Thanks for my boy right here. Fucking Mr. Fucking. Oh, fuck. This is going to be a nightmare. Just keep it on the whole time. Yeah. Huh. To uh, call this. I, I called fucking Taliban. Gonna They're going to be allies with either China or Russia. That was my initial standpoint. Correct? Yeah. Do you and, mind? Actually, well, you keep going. I'm actually going to pull up the DMs because I actually want to see how close you were to what this is sure and uh and uh basically they they've done that they've basically got everybody to evacuate that wants to evacuate or can evacuate and at this point they have pretty consistent regime right now nobody's really gonna die per se unless they are they're gonna go head to head with taliban or china china wants to invest into the into the into the property of Afghanistan as a whole. So the resources, the commodities that can come out of Afghanistan, they're going to trade them at very low prices, buy them out, and Taliban's going to get power out of this. That's right. basically going to be the, the end goal here. Any any thoughts under this? Yeah. Uh, one of them is apparently these DMs just don't exist anymore, which sucks. Try looking for it. I think it's gone. It's all good. So Anyways, we no, didn't no. call this. Yeah, no, you, I didn't. You did. This was uh, you got you take full credit for this one. That I think it's interesting to see what's happening here. Like, damn right, <laughs> because at the end of the day, it's not like anyone's saying that the Chinese are fucking saviors or you know fucking these great people. But it's 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 a different approach that they have versus the Americans in terms of how they take over. The yeah. Americans come in with guns, their culture, whatever trying to brainwash people, you know, do what they want, impose their, their ideals and their in, in societies, Western shit. And you're American too, so that's... Yeah, American-born, but Canadian yeah. race. It's the same, Ooh. same, right? But you, you see how they how they try and impose their will. Chinese, on the other hand, are like, yeah. we'll just build and buy. Yeah. They're still trying to... They're thinking more along the lines of... Fatality. Than, than America. Basically, because they, they're like, fuck coming in with guns and all that shit. How about we just basically build this place so that it's ours yeah and then we just tax the people yeah kind of like a collective agreement yeah they're, they're kind of like okay we're gonna we're gonna give you pensions but you're gonna have to pay for them and then we'll match it because i remember one of the things that you said you were like yo i think these guys just come in that, what, i forgot the quote you said but it's like chinese build bridges blah. i forget how you said it but you basically hit it the nail on the head where it's the chinese are just going to come in build everything that the, that the afghanis need yeah so if the Taliban says hey we need a new bridge do it okay done here's your bridge we'll send yep. ten thousand chinese workers and Boom, we'll have it done. done in like a month yep but then afterwards now we're going to tax that we're going to toll that road and yep. we're going to we're going to collect and then if we need to if we need a favorable deal somehow where we want to exert our influence in the middle east yep. you're going to be the the channel through who we do it from yeah two things you're going to see from this is your taliban doesn't understand that they're not in-depth thinkers they're not thinking long term oh yeah they're basically selling their soul to the devil right now as far as china number two you're gonna see a lot of mixed race babies chinese afghan you think so oh pff, bro you think the Afghans chinese are actually Af- bro come on it's not about it's not about what chinese wants it's about what's gonna happen chinese women are generally pretty submissive generally sure afghan men are are pretty yeah but are chinese aggressive. women gonna go to afghanistan we don't know yet. Come on. I'm just saying. I'm talking like Chinese workers are going to go to Afghanistan. Yeah, and, and they're going to bring a couple of sisters over. You know uh, what I mean? It's going to be a barbecue. I mean, sure. <laughs> I mean, sure. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh, any last thoughts on that? No, that's uh, that's that, that's about it. I mean, that, like I said, when, when, I, when I saw that article, I was like, yo, bro, check this shit out. Yeah. Couldn't believe that. Sick. So the next thing is, is uh, Biden is basically taking away um, some information about uh 9-11 releasing um, it yeah so this this is one another one that, that i that i spotted 
basically Biden announced that it was one of his campaign promises that he was going to declassify some 9-11 documentation, information, whatever you want to call it. And so people were kind of not up in arms, but because he did announce this before he got into office. Like he, this was part of one of his campaign promises was, hey, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to unclassify a document so y'all can see the fucking, you know, conspiracies don't exist or whatever. So now people are all like, well, let's fucking see it. Let's see what we got. Yeah. Did Tower 7 really fall? Yeah. Or did it not? Did you, uh, when it, any idea when it's going to be exactly released? <sighs> I think it's probably going to be, you know what I think is probably going to happen? It's going to be a lot of boring shit with some really good stuff inside. And it's, and the good stuff inside is going to get missed because there's so much boring shit. Right. Like you ever you ever heard of buried buried in paperwork? Yes. That's what's gonna happen here. I think they're gonna release documentation in waves, but it's gonna be so much shit that no one's actually gonna want to look through all of it, mm. and no one's gonna give a shit. They're like, ah, whatever. It's just a bunch of, you know, fucking hundred pages talking about how this police officer had to close out a case or whatever. But no one, nothing interesting here. And then in between, it's gonna be like two pages of like groundbreaking shit where it's yeah. like, yeah. Two years before we planted bombs in those whatever, yeah, those struts so that they would fall. Yeah. So basically, they're gonna take all the Blackboard! documentaries and or documents, and they're gonna they're gonna hide it in like a bunch of boring shit. That's what I think is gonna yeah, happen. Yeah, I actually. believe I I hundred percent believe. I that. think that's gonna happen. I hundred percent believe. And then that. When, and then when it's all done, people are like, oh, see, there's nothing. We're all good. There's nothing to see here because we've shown you everything. You guys, you know, whatever. It's all normal. That's right, dude. Now we're gonna move into one of our fucking crazy fucking segments. Mind-bending fucking reality segments, dude. Speaking of conspiracies. That's right. This fucking thing's running way too long. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, I'm going to ask you a couple questions. Sure. And you're going to answer them, and I'm going to change your fucking mind, bro. Okay. We might grow some hair today. Hit me with it. All right? So, basically, what do you think is the... Uh, Harvard did a study with 120K... Um, person study, hundred twenty thousand person study. That's a huge yeah. study, by the way. Over over twenty years. That's okay. That's, yeah. And uh, per year, uh, close to two pounds a year on just this specific food. What specific food is this? Like they were telling people to eat two pounds of it in a no, year. No, 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 no. They the the people that out of the hundred twenty thousand yes. people in in that twenty year period, the most amount of weight gain. Oh. was due to this specific oh, food. Oh, I see, I see. I what see. food was okay. this? Uh, it's an actual food or is it like a... It's it's a type of food. Like okay. it's like, you know, snacks. No, because like if I say sugar, that doesn't... No, 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 no. no, no. So like, like an actual it's, food. It's an actual food. Hmm. Uh, fucking, I'll say rice. Oh, hell no! Fuck. Give me another one. Twinkies. You have smoked yourself retarded. Fuck. <laughs> okay, so it's potato chips. Potato chips. Right, man. Damn right. Um, potato chips. Uh, they've they've caused they they caused on average on average two uh, pounds a year of fat. Just, just pure fat. Just on potato chips. On potato chips. That's crazy. Okay. So next one. Um, who do you think does more housework, boyfriends or husbands, and why? Interesting. Boyfriends or husbands? Husbands. You think so? Yeah. Okay. Fucking. Oh, hell no. Really? On average consensus, uh, census studies in Canada showed that boyfriends do more. Mm -hmm. And the reason they do more is to keep their girlfriend. Oh, that when you have a husband wife relationship, things are more serious. So therefore you're like, okay, I'm providing, I'm giving all this money. I'm doing all this. Well, you got to clean up now. Well, you've also in a sense given up. Because you're no longer courting the girlfriend; she's exactly. now your wife. Exactly. So you're, not, so you're not really trying to impress her at this point. You're, you're there. Damn right. That's yeah. right. Yeah, so yeah. Uh, basically, they already won over the girl, man. That's that's what it is. Um, so do you think there's ever going to be there? There is a animal, mm -hmm. sea or land animal that uh, is basically immortal. Yes or no. That there is or that there what would you say that there is okay, or there so, will be? Okay, so 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 no, no no that there is currently. Animal animal? I don't think there's an animal that's immortal. Like okay, to them as a species, like they've been around forever, or like literally like, like for example, like a fucking alligator has been alive for like you're talking about like a hundred million years. No, not a alligator. A, a type of animal that is 
basically immortal unless it's, it gets killed. But in a regular cycle of life, yeah. it is an animal, like a legit animal you can see without a microscope that is 100% alive and doesn't die if it's not killed. If it's not killed. I can't think of one. I would think that any animal you could see would eventually have to die. Okay, so... Surprise, motherfucker! There is a jelly, a type of fucking oh, jellyfish. That's okay. Okay. So that fuck you. That's not <laughs> cheating. Okay. That can revert back to juvenile stage, juvenile stage after maturing, called a turipo turitopsis dorhana pataka. We'll just we'll just put it yeah. right somewhere here. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We're gonna put okay. The spelling yeah. Out we'll, right we'll, there. we'll put it right here. Yeah. Yeah. Somewhere around here. Um. <laughs> so. The last so, question. So it's like Benjamin Button, but for jellyfish. That's right. Uh, last question. Which country doesn't have a capital city? Doesn't have a capital city. I'll even, listen, I'll even take, because this is a very hard, I didn't even know what this country is. My geography is pretty solid. Is it really? Oh, bro. My, my, I, could, I can name you three countries. No, five countries in Oceania. Can you name any? Yeah. How many? Australia. That's one. New Zealand. Okay, two. Papua New Guinea. Okay. Uh. Are you stuttering? No, not not Fiji. Fiji's actually Fiji, is Fiji in Oceania? So See, you don't even fucking know. I got already. You said I go one. I got. I got. I, got, I said I, got, I know five. Yeah, yeah. Let's, I just got two more. Back to the two fucking question. Fruit. Do you think what country is this? You will never guess, but I'm just giving you a chance. Mm, small, big, always small. Small, tiny. <sighs> Micronesia. Nope. Nope. I could like name five, and I don't know if I could get them. Definitely not. Uh, Vatican so, City, maybe? That's no. Technically a country. Hell no. Listen. Oh, hell no. Oh, got? I got a country called Nauru. Ah, this is Nauru. Nauru, yeah. Okay. Nauru is fucking basically pretty close to the equator, honestly. And uh, it's pretty close to Papua New Guinea, honestly. And it's, it's just a fucking little island. And most of the people don't even live on that. What are the other two countries in Oceania? Uh, Indonesia. Uh, I don't think is Indonesia in considered in Oceania? Yes. Oh shit. Um and then you got obviously Malaysia is too. No. You don't know that? No, I don't think so. Malaysia is. And Fiji is like over here, dude. No, Fiji is somewhere over here. Anyways, who gives a fuck? Philippines is. Philippines is Oceania. Oceania? Yeah. Hell yeah. Because they're not it's not part of Asia. Hit it. Hit it. Just hit yeah, hit hit no. Just hit the actual nope. There you go. Scroll down. Take a fucking look at that, bro. Southeast Asia. Pacific Ocean consists of blah, blah, blah. Okay, who cares? <laughs> You're wrong, I'm right. Who gives a shit? <laughs> I care. <laughs> All right, guys. And this has been a slice of... Da, na, 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 suck my dick. That's right. Oh, man. This wrong is way too fucking long. We need like a four-second one. Um, Gotta shorten that by like a second and a half. So we are gonna go into um, our uh, new segment. That's actually old segment. <laughs> Urban Dictionary, baby. We are back from Urban Dictionary. Okay, I'm got? gonna ask you some questions, and I want you to tell me some of these goddamn fucking answers, man. Because okay. I know you don't got nothing. What is Cli-Fi? Cli-Fi? Cli-Fi. Like C L Y, how do you spell it? Yeah. Hyphen, F I. C L Y. C L I. Oh I. Hyphen F I. High class clitoris. <laughs> <laughs> high class clitoris. I, I love I was thinking like high fi cli fi. Oh man. What you got? Fucking I, I, I'll give you one of these, bro. Bruh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So cli fi is basically um a urban term used for fake client climatization of the world so people there's some people that say climate change is real sure urban dictionary people that call you know um warming of the earth fake they say oh that's a bunch of cli-fi you're talking about you're talking about some fake shit well that's cli-fi that's, that's cli-fi cli so it's basically fake news for climate change so people in the in the hood that think climate change is fake 
They say, oh, man, that's a bunch of cli-fi shit you're talking about. Can't wait to throw these terms out and see how... <laughs> Listen, the places you live and you go to work, you will never throw these terms out. <laughs> you neither. You're going to go cli-fi and all that in Vancouver? I'm, I, dude, I, I talked to a bunch of dumbasses, so of course I'm going to throw these terms around. Okay, so no simp September. We're in September right now. No simp September? Yeah, that's I right. Know, I, you know, it's funny. Actually, if I actually heard this, I just don't know what it is. Okay. Because I'm not even... I can't even... If you ask me to define simp... I wouldn't even be able to find that for you properly. Do you want me to? Do you want? Do you want me to educate you on this? Yeah, hit me with simp, and then th- that's already self explanatory Okay. If you explain so simp, you explain no simp, simp September. So let let me explain something to you. How much do you usually spend on a girl when you go on a date? Like money wise? No, like fucking penis wise. No, like time wise. I don't know. Yeah, yeah money wise. Uh, first date you said? Yeah. Or just any date. Yeah, first date. <laughs> About fifty bucks average. Surprise, motherfucker! Fifty bucks average. Yeah. No word of mouth. No lie. Yeah. You, you wouldn't say 100 bucks? No, I wouldn't say 100 bucks. Where the date. fuck do you go that you pay only 50 bucks for a date? <sighs> brunch and drinks is only 50 bucks, man. Not the cap. You go on brunch? Yeah, brunch, bro. Not the cap. <laughs> <laughs> where are, you, on, where are you dropping 100 bucks? Dude. As a first date. Let me explain one thing to you, okay, son? Go ahead. Let me explain something to you. In Canada, is it pretty common to take a girl to a hockey game? Uh, Yeah. Okay. Can be, yeah, yeah. How much are tickets? Let's be honest here. Minimum 30 bucks a piece. Yeah. Okay. That's 60 bones right there. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You want to eat something, right? Mm-hmm. Afterwards, right? How much is food for an average person? So you do this every single time? Because no, no, you no, said no. on average, right? No, I said first date. Yeah, yeah. Average. You said, yeah, on average. On, so that's what I'm saying. Okay. For all your first dates, you're going to hockey games. Okay. No, 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 no. Or like, like you, listen, like that not kind all of girls, level? not all girls deserve first dates. There's only a few specific girls that deserve sure. first dates. Okay. That is. You're getting into this too much. Secondly, of those girls that deserve it, yes, yes 100%. Okay. But that is simping. Spending too much money on a first date is being a simp. Simp is being a simple man, is being like you're a basic bitch, basically. You're spending all your money and your hard-earned money on a girl that's not going to reciprocate you in sexual terms that you want. Like you'll, you're going to spend all this money, go on five different dates, she's not even going to kiss you. And you're basically a simp. You're the opposite of a fuckboy. You're just trying to please girls and give them the attention and love See. and stuff that they need yeah, yeah. without them deserving it, mm-hmm. right? Because there there is a portion of girls that actually have to deserve that for you to give it to them. Right. So so no sim September is like be a fuck boy for September to translate the cycle of girls being hoes. Sure. That's what it is. Today I learned. Today we learned. Um, what is simplify? Simplify? Yeah. Obviously, it has to do something what you just explained. The so, art, the art of being a simp. Yeah, that makes sense. All right, cool. Um, what's a soft launch? This has to do with relationships. I was gonna say because I'm like, like business. <laughs> like, what do you mean? Like, I don't know what soft launch is. Uh, soft launch for relationships. I uh, probably some like no label shit. That's right, baby. Oh, hell yeah. yeah. I finally got one. Yeah. That's like hell yeah. one out of ten. Yeah, that's right. Fuck yeah. So I didn't get any he, last time. He he hit it on the fucking nail, man. You're you're one for four right now. You're oh, no, today. Solid. But like last, yeah. last time I got one. No, you're nine. actually one for three because simp and simp fi is like the same shit. So it's like you're you're one for three right now. Fair enough. Okay. That's right. You're getting 33%, my boy. Thank you, man. I'm almost passing. Um, so what is Jawsome? Jawsome. Yeah. Spell that shit out. J-A-W-S-O-M-E. Ah, Jawsome. Come on, use your brain. Uh, use your brain. Great j- fucking jawline, I guess. I don't know. Let me let me give you one of these. Oh hell no! Fuck. Jawsome is when you go out with a chick and she gives you a little blowy, you know, a little. That's what Jawsome right? means. Hold on, hold on. Now the quality of the in the back, you know, sure. the blowy in the back. Will dictate if she's jawsome or not. Oh, jawsome yeah. is her jaw is awesome. Well, yeah, okay. right. Yeah. So if she doesn't, if she gives you a lot of teeth, that's no jawsome, bro. Of course, that's fucking. You know, that's some H- Holly Berry high level fucking uh, dictator shit. Sure, she's gonna sure, chop sure. your dick off and tax it. Sure, right. But jawsome, she uses the perfect amount of gums and lips, and you don't feel nothing, boy. Hmm. It just feels like fucking. Feels like sure, fucking sure, box, yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, it just sure. feels like fucking box. Sure. And that's that's if I had to give girls advice on giving blowies, please don't. Listen, make sure that we don't feel the teeth. Because if we do, 
Yeah, that's a problem. It's no go, man. That's a Whether it's the wisdom teeth, you're going too back, you're getting the wrong angle. You got you got to you got to do the angle right. So if his dick is curved left, you don't just go straight in, son. You got to you got to be careful. You got to be a mechanic <laughs> out here in these streets. You got to know angles, you got to know geography, you know, what else you got to know? That, that advice goes for guys too. Notice how he said, "Son." That's right. That's right. So, guys, girls, everyone. <laughs> Everybody giving a blowy. Just be careful, all right? The advice, the advice is unisex. It's universal. That's what that is. <laughs> because the action is universal. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Giving blowies is, is uh, it, it is what it is. Um, you got anything else? Yeah, we uh, forgot to mention our boy real quick. Talk about our boy, man. Well, you watch The Wire. I watch The Wire. That's right. Yeah. Just, the Wire. Just another another RIP, man. Omar. <sighs> On the weekend. I think yesterday, actually. Uh, yesterday or uh, Sunday. That's right. Dead in his apartment, yeah. Sunday. Sunday, right? Yeah. You can't touch me. You're not man enough. I eat your <laughs> asshole alive, you bitch. <laughs> <laughs> terrible, man. <laughs> terrible. terrible. Rest in peace, Omar, man. He was a good fucking... Uh, yeah, he was a real dude, man. He made, yeah. he made, made some good shit. Yeah, I'll give, you, I'll, give, I'll give Omar one of these. There you go. Um, shout out to Omar. Guys, you got any last thoughts? Give me some last good fucking thoughts, man. That mustache aim is to, about... Aim to be jawsome. Lose. Aim to be Jawsome. Yeah, be Jawsome. my boy. That's right. Guys, make sure you follow us on Instagram, Funny But Foul. Um, Funny But Foul podcast on Instagram, actually. Funny But Foul. Everywhere uh, else. Everywhere else. Um, we're going to be going live every fucking week. Every Saturday. We're going to be calling from fucking collect from jail. Even oh. if we got to do that every fucking week, Does we'll do it. Huh? Can't wait for that one. We're going to call it from Collect, bro. I'm going to get one of my buddies to call from Collect. Hell yeah. Uh, stay tuned for that. We're going to get some toxic-ass fucking guests here. Get some controversy going. You know what I mean? Oh, That's yeah? always healthy. Yeah, yeah, Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to get some ghetto-ass bitches in here sometime soon. And then... Uh, We'll go from there, man. We're, we're just trying to we're just trying to heat up. You know what I mean? We're trying to we're we, trying to. We, we got some interesting things planned. We're that's calling right. To some live events too. Yeah, all live, baby. And then we're gonna change studios, man. We're 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 trying to land that one studio. We'll do a big renovation. Yeah, big yeah. Fun. And uh, Kanye's uh, new song is out. Don't listen to Drake. Go listen to Kanye. It's actually better. <laughs> Drake actually has no good songs on his album. I think I heard like one actually. It was all trash. It's all trash. <laughs> it's all in his feelings. Um. That's right, guys. So uh, make sure you follow us, subscribe. Um, let us know if you want anything else. Give us some uh, recommendations if you want. And uh, live in peace, man. Catch you in the next one. Yeah.